How come you get your own fucking dish of chips and I don't get a dish? Well, you oh, just wait, I got a dish right here. And you've got two kinds of fucking chips. Okay, I can't get crack your fingers out of my fucking chips, man. What? Throw them on. All right, you ready for this? Yep. Oh, hey there. Welcome to the Trailer Park Boys podcast. I'm your host, Bubbles, with my two sidekicks. Ricky and Julian. What kind of intro is that, man? It sounds like something from Hee Haw or something. Oh, I love Hee Haw. Well, I hope it sounds like Hee Haw. Welcome, everybody. Bob's fuck. What's going on, fuckers? This is the official Trailer Park Boys podcast. It's coming at you right now. This is episode 30, no, 53. Wow. You sound like a dickweed. Yeah, you? I was, I was, uh... Ooh, look at me. I'm Julian. I can fucking do anything. <sighs> Fuck off, pups. Welcome to the podcast. I'm the host, Ricky. What? See, that was professional, boys. See the, the tone and uh, the volume. The tone and the volume? What are you talking about? That sucked. Hi, right, welcome. What are you skittling over there, Ricky? I was just waiting for you, Dex. So I just started practicing my drawings. Can I see it? No, it's not finished. I'll show you when I'm done. <laughs> this I should love be good. Ricky draws yeah, stuff. Uh, if you take a look around, Julian, you might notice there's four brand new fucking boxes behind you there, all housing these very excellent microphones here. The buffs. Okay, they, that's why are they in the boxes? Huh? Because I just come, got them in. How come they're not set up? How come this one isn't set up and you've had that for a week? Because I gotta get the wires and stuff for it. I gotta go to the music store and buy the wires that go into it. And the arm. Wire. Because you can't do what Ricky did with that last time with the. No, I'm gonna get proper and... arms. Arms and stuff, but that's from the. Gibson neat microphone people, and I got them for us. Yeah, well, you should have been well, talking. Well, thanks for people. thinking of us, Bubs, not like somebody else over there who thinks of himself. What the fuck are you talking about? It's yourself and it's himself. Julius. I, hey, any kind of deal I do, it, it's for all three of us, all right? You name fuck one off. fucking thing I've got from your deals. You got T-shirts, didn't you? T-shirts with me a, on them that I don't make clock? any money from. Well, what about one of those clocks? You got one of those. I didn't get a clock. Yes, you did. I don't have a clock, so where is it? Okay, I forgot to give you a clock, but there is a clock for you. Forgot to give it to me, which you. is the fucking other meaning of that is I held it back in case you wouldn't notice, and then I'll sell it at the flea market. No, I wouldn't do that. That's what I Fuck forgot off. to give it to you means. Yep, it's bullshit. Selfish. Selfish. I'm not selfish. I'm smarter than everybody here. Nope. Just so we're clear. Oh, fucking shit. Well, I'm second place then for sure. You're second place. If he's the smartest. No, 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 no. I think that I could be the smartest, but I'm not going to argue with Bubbles. He's pretty smart. But I'm I, definitely smarter than you could be smart. Bull fucking shit. Look, <clears> okay, <throat> Bubbles, you're good at, you're smart at some things like NASA and space and all that shit. Science. Oh, that's good. it? That, that's all I'm good at, is well, it? Well, no, just there's other things that I'm smarter at than you are. Like, like trying what? To, well, when it comes to business, man, being robbing an entrepreneur. People, yes. Robbing people. Ro okay, so maybe robbing people. you got to be smart when you rob somebody. I'm better at robbing people than you are. No, you're, no, you're reckless, man. Sometimes See? you gotta be reckless to get the better goods. No, sometimes you gotta be smarter. Well, all the times you have to be smarter. <clears throat> you two both get sound the goods. fucked. Like, I am clearly smarter than both of you, just based on that one conversation. You weren't talking, so you could not be maybe smarter than both of us. It kind of makes sense. You guys are fucked. Okay, so you know what? Let's, have a, let's him, fucking please. settle this once and for all. See who's, see who's smarter. What are you talking about? Here, look at this. I'll take these. There's your buzzers, boys. Buzzers. There's your buzzers to ring in just like Family Feud. What the fuck are you talking about? Let's what? have a little quiz show and see who's smarter. Bobs, we're not doing that. Why? What are you going to do? This is stupid. There's your buzzer. First one What's to What's it going to light it up? It's not lighting up anything. No, you got to crush it, say, Ricky. Before okay. he crosses it. Yeah, first one to cross the cup, then they, you know, they rang in first, and they get to answer first. All right. And this I'll is... keep score, and I'll ask the questions. This is like family feud, man. And we're Please. a big family. Oh, that's adorable. That's adorable. This is stupid. This is like family feud, yes. And I'm Richard Dawson. Here, give me a kiss. Fuck off. Come on. <laughs> Bob's fuck off. Give us a kiss. The lips away from me, man. Richard Dawson. That guy did kiss a lot, man. How many women do you think he's kissed? Richard Dawson? Like, oh, fuck. I'd have to say. Thousands. 
Tens of thousands. Definitely. He kissed everybody. And I heard he was banging a lot of them dudes. No, he was In the green room, that's what I heard. Anybody that he kissed on the show, apparently he also banged. Well, he kissed every woman that appeared on that show. So he, he was, banged. Uh, apparently. Like the grandmother, the great grandmother, the aunt. It's just what I heard. He didn't bang all of them. I him. heard that he did. There's no fucking way he banged all of his he, kids. I heard he'd go backstage and say, if you want to cast out front, dirty stuff right now. And he got it going. That's that's the legend. That's the legend of the feud that I've read. Could be just made up. I don't all right, know. so we're playing, playing that Sunnyvale family feud. Is that what's going yeah, on? Yeah, so I'll say a question. First one to ring in. Are you ready, Ricky? All right, I'm ready. All right, Ricky, don't ring in unless you have a fucking answer. Just don't start fucking smashing things. Come on, baby. Okay, here, just wait. This is dumb, man. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Wait now. No, okay. I was going to say we should smoke a joint before we do this. Well, should we? I'd say we probably help. Bob's. Just wait. He'll He's in the zone. I know. He'll be really fucked up if he's high. Ricky, do you want to do this now, or do you want to smoke something? What would make me smarter? <laughs> well, you Step. tell me. Probably, Definitely smoke one. Yeah, probably a joint. Okay. All right. Okay, you so, guys smoke well, that. All right, so we. what else we, should we talk you about some other stuff? I'm going to write down some questions. Give me a mark one. Here's a black one. Today's famous birthdays, Bubs. You might be excited to know one of them. Okay. Neil Armstrong. Holy fuck, really? And who was your number one go-to when you were playing with yourself when you were younger? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's, man. it's her birthday, too. At least it's a her. Your Julia. number one jack-off material. I don't have a number one. It was your go-to girl back in junior high. Cheryl Teeks. Oh, I forgot about her. No, Lonnie Anderson. Oh, yeah, Lonnie Anderson. WKRP and Hot Sonati. <laughs> You fucking, you loved her, man. Oh, and you didn't? Well, I, I wouldn't say she's my I mean, number you one loved ha I know you love Hasselhoff and Swayze. Well, fuck this shit. The most. What, what are you talking about? Me and Ricky <laughs> both had Cheryl Teagues and Lonnie Anderson posters. You had, had Swayze. The, no, I, see, this is a fucking Hasselhoff. lie. Hasselhoff. No. Selleck. No, I didn't. Tom Selleck. Selleck. Tom Selleck. 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 And Knight Rider. No, there's no fuck. You no. had Hasselhoff on had... Baywatch and Hasselhoff Night Rider. Bullshit. I had Farrah Fawcett, the one in the red bathing suit, and she was beaming. Yeah, I had that one too. Bull with, bullshit. With the eraser nipples? Yes. That was a good one. That's the only poster I had on my fucking wall. I didn't have Hasselhoff and Swayze and them. Fuck off. Okay. Okay, Julian. So, no, don't be saying it like that as if you know, you're lying. You had a lock on your bedroom door, but it wasn't always locked. What we the, saw what posters you had what up. What the fuck are you talking about? No, man. You guys are fucked. Everybody in the park knows. I was looking up some stuff, and there was this dude that <coughs> hid 7.2 grams of cocaine in his foreskin. <laughs> what? It was pretty smart. Mm. Made me want one. A, f a what? A foreskin? Both. No, I'm just kidding. Another, yeah, a foreskin. It's a good, great place to hide things. Jesus. How did, what did he have it in, Ricky? What do you mean? Well, he couldn't just sprinkle it in no, there. No, no, it was in a bag. It was in a bag. They arrested him. He was naked, running around, all fucking banged up. Mm. Then they noticed this little so baggie <laughs> peeking out of his little. So he was using it as a wallet. His little pup wallet. His little penis tent. He had a deck wallet. <laughs> <laughs> you can keep your bank cards in there. A bank card? <laughs> Jesus, Bubs, I don't know what you're dealing with down there. Push but... it, man. I would be fitting well, I'm not cards. saying you wouldn't be able to tell it was in there. You'd see the shape of it. I don't even know. Why would you do that? <laughs> I wouldn't. I'm just saying maybe this guy would. Why would you also hide cocaine in there? No idea, man. It's. I think it's great. If you're naked, where else are you going to hide? It's right, only one other place. the time you tried to smoke a joint with your wiener? No. Did it work? No. Oh, it didn't work. I was going to say we could try it again right now. Do you remember when he did that? No, I don't remember. He, he was trying to smoke a joint with his wiener, and he passed out, and it burned right down. He had it in the piss hole. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. I did not hear that. I remember Corey and Trevor talking about how they used to blow weed smoke up each other's... No, they didn't. Yeah, they, they said it made them more fucked up faster. But up their ass? 
what they claim. Boy, you Trevor never get that that I know. You're thinking of Stevie Nicks she used to get blown in their ass or something, didn't she? <laughs> <laughs> there was a rumor. There was a rumor. Uh, okay. <laughs> what else do you got? We, maybe we shouldn't have did that because now I don't feel like I'm quite as smart as I was before. No, you. Okay, now it's perfect. Then. Perfect time. <laughs> Perfect timing. Okay, question I'm, number one. I'm just as smart, but I'm not going to be as quick on the buzzer. Well, I think it'll work. Ricky, I'll be able to okay. tell. I'll be able to tell. All right. I'll get a good... Hand flat on the table there, dick face. Yes, hands flat on the table. It's on the table. Top ten answers are on the board. Here's the question. Name a part of your body that's impossible to lick. Ricky was in first. Fuck. I can't crush them like he can. No, you hit it, though. I heard it. It was a car, car. Now I forget the question. Name oh, a part of your it? body that it's impossible to lick. Your ass. Mm. No, it is not <laughs> impossible. <laughs> really? Ricky, a contortionist can do that. Fuck. But there is a part of your body that's impossible to lick. Your tongue. What? Your... No, you can lick your tongue. Oh, fuck, okay. Yeah. Uh, isn't it my turn? Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, you only get one try, Ricky, and then... Board goes right. to Julian. Julian for the steal. The back of your head. <laughs> try well, that you one. fucked me up now. No, there's your no eyeballs. fucking way you can do it. I don't care how long your tongue is, you're not licking back there. Okay, I don't know how to score this one. The actual answer was your elbow. I've done that. I had to break it, but I did it. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's even, not yeah. possible. See? That's fucked. I totally won that. How was the answer to your elbow? Because that's right. You can't, nobody can let right there. How can you let like your eyeball? Said, you have to have one Some people it. can. Jeez. Gene Simmons could. Mm -hmm. Lucky bastard. Why, why would Gene you want Simmons. to lick your own ass, Ricky? <laughs> why? Ass. why would you do that? <laughs> no, they no, said I, eyeballs. Yeah. Oh, eyeballs. <laughs> You're talking about your ass. No, Gene Simmons, he used to clean his eyes during the shows. <laughs> no, he did If you watch old footage. No, there's no fucking way. If you watch old footage, he's there. Uh, want to rock and roll all night. He did not fucking clean his <laughs> he eyeballs. He would clean his eyes because there was so much smoke and pyro and stuff. All right. Explosions. He used to so know. zero, take zero, zero. You know base. what? I got to make it even though, because he's got big arms to crush his thing. What? Rick, it's all about just hitting it first, man. It's, yeah, it's more just... about hitting it first, Ricky. All right, I'm ready. See, mm -hmm. this is when things get fucked up. That's not smart, by the no, way. No, Ricky, okay? if the blades That's fly dumb. off, that guess who gets it in the fucking carotid? Oh, I don't know. It's like winning the lottery. Yeah. <laughs> Bubbles gets the fucking blade in his carotid. That's not like winning in lottery. All right, fuck. I guess I'll have to use my hand. I'll have to pretend I'm strong as Julian, though. Why don't you fuck off? Just hit the fucking cup. Okay. How about this one? What is a group of 12 or more cows called? <laughs> Julian was in first, just by a hair. Heard. I Wrong, think, Ricky, for the steal. I'm not good at these. A, a fodder? Or is it something fucked like that? It starts with an F, Ricky. Frenzy? No. Twelve or more cows are coming at you. What do you say? Oh, there is a... Flack. A flack of cows. It's flink! A flink? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Ricky, it's a flink. You almost had it. So it's not a fodder. Or a flack. But flack was close. Flink, I've never heard of a flink of cows. Neither did I, but I... All right. Looked it up. Zero, zero. I'm still smarter than Julian. No, it's I really hard to tell one. who's ringing in first, by the way. You know what I'll do next time? I'll get some buzzers wired up. That'd be good. Real family we're feud never, buzzers. We're never playing What about a real again? board where the answers would really pop up? That'd be cool. I'll try to build one. I keep it, you're into a lot of stuff then. All you right. Done? No, I want to do more of these. One okay, more. here's one more. Are we ready? For the win. No, I'm, it's one nothing. You had an answer that wasn't technically right. It was totally right, man. I have to do research on that before I can give you that. 
was right. I think somebody has licked the back of their head. In the There's history. no fucking way, man. There's no way. Mama could. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Implying she's got a super long tongue. She yeah, no, I, I, Bubs, I can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you done? Are we done? Just get on Just with this. Last one, tiebreaker. Okay. Here's the tiebreaker. What normal bodily function can cause you to break a rib? Oh, Ricky's in first with a vengeance. Coughing. Close, Ricky. Shit. What normal bodily function can cause you to crack a rib? Puking. Are you guys <laughs> fucked? Okay, I know what it is. <laughs> What? And it goes back to Ricky for the steal. Shitting. Hmm. Shitting? <laughs> uh, I think that would, at that point, be trying to shit, Ricky, but no, that's not the... <laughs> I don't think if you were actually shitting, your rib would just pop. Constellation. <laughs> or whatever oh, it's called. I know what it is. When you can't shit. What did you say? Coffin? Ah, uh, see, he's gonna get Sneezing. it. Sneezing. I was gonna say sneezing, so I win. No, no, that's not how it works. <laughs> I knew it was one of them. I said it. I'm smarter too. Wait, nothing. now I want to hear this theory. You think you should win because you were gonna say that, but you yep. didn't? Because I was like, okay, coughing or sneezing. I'm gonna go with coughing. Because I went with coughing, then he knew that I was thinking sneezing. So I put the sneezing thing in his head. So really, it was me that made him win. No, 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 no. I came he up has with... a little bit no, of a valid point. Because you did say... You know what? what did he say? Coughing? And that made you go... What's similar to coughing? No, I knew it was something. I was just... I knew... I thought it was... I knew it was like... Or hiccuping or whatever the fuck I said. I was sneezing. Fuck off. I want to do nothing. Sure. I'm smarter than you. I'm pretty sure my grade 8 math teacher said that he did break a rib while he was trying to use the bathroom. But maybe it was something else. Which Which teacher? <sighs> Was it Mr. McDonald? I don't know. I never heard Mr. McDonald. He went McDonald's. to the bathroom, the bathroom came back with a broken rib. rib. He broke a rib. Yeah, because he maybe was constellated or... Maybe he slipped in the tub, right? Maybe he was wasted, man, and fell. He did drink a lot at lunchtime. He, that guy was shit-faced all the time. What, he walked in the class and said, Oh, my God, class, I just broke a rib trying to... No, he didn't even shame. come back. The fucking princi principals came in and said, uh, Yeah, he's not coming back. He, he went to the bathroom and broke a rib. Well, he could have slipped, Ricky. Why do you assume he was trying to have a boot and broke his ribs? That's what people were just guessing at what caused it. That made the most sense. Because, you know, sometimes when you can't and you're, like, straining and things start popping. <laughs> See, that's how fucked up rumors start, man. Like that. I think I think he, he must have. Just wait, Ricky. <laughs> it's fucked. Just one second, Ricky. When you're straining to have poop, what things start popping on you? Sometimes, I don't know, like your ears. And... <laughs> All right. Anything else? Well, you tear muscles sometimes. Tear muscles. What muscles do you tear? Legs. <laughs> Having a Ricky, what are you going through in there, man? You Jesus tore your leg Christ. muscles trying to have poop? <laughs> yeah, and whatever these ones are back here. Your back muscles? I guess. How did you tear your leg muscles? Where were your feet? Planted? I also dislocated my shoulder one time. <laughs> what? Because I was like doing this and I pulled it right out. What were like, you doing? This? Just straining. Like, like, just doing freaky. whatever you could. Yeah. <laughs> you need to eat. You need to change your diet or something, man. No, I have since. Pe I can't, is it, I never is it helping you out? <laughs> what were you eating back then, Ricky? That was causing you to do that. Just. Terrible things. Junk. But when you tore Wasn't your leg muscles, water. I'm just Deep curious. Foot. When you tore your leg muscles, where were your feet planted? That was when I actually wasn't out of toil. I was hovering in the woods on a fishing trip. I tore a lot of muscles. It sucked. You should not be taking a dump outside, man. You've got to be on the toilet. If you're breaking, like, bones and... Well, it was you either know, do fucking it up out, your muscles. outside in the woods or do it in my pants. It, it was coming out. But then... When I tried to get the rest of it out, there was some issues, and anyway, it's history. Nobody okay, Ricky, so this. what situation could you be in where it's, it's either coming out or in my pants, 
what situations would make you say, no, it's going in my pants? Is there any? If you're at a concert, I guess, and <laughs> it's in the middle of the encore. I've heard of people doing that. Oh, <laughs> fuck. So if you were at a concert <laughs> and you didn't want to leave because the encore was happening, you just shit yourself? I'm just saying it would be an option. Mm. Don't go to a concert with Ricky, okay? What right. other what other situations would make you say, okay, I'll give you some situations and you tell me. Game seven. Pants are on the ground. Going down the ice on a breakaway, game seven. Let's play a new game called In My Pants Are On The Ground. <laughs> I'm going to give you a scenario, Ricky, and you tell me All right. if you had to poop and there was no stopping it, would you go on the ground or in your pants? At, <laughs> at uh, Trinity's Christmas concert. What was it? Ground or pants? In your pants or on the ground. <laughs> like it came on quick and you can't make it to the bathroom. How old would she be? <laughs> Christmas concert. She's five, Ricky, at the time. Yeah, you don't want to miss that. In your pants. <laughs> okay. Once they got a couple under their belt, you know, here. Fuck, I saw the last two, so I'm gonna go ground on that at that point. Okay, um, you've been waiting in line at the bank for fuck, about three hours to get to the teller. You get to the teller, you gotta poop. And it's coming out. What do you do? I, I'm really pissed off. Yes, you're mad because they're putting you into overdraft. Ground. And I'm gonna say that was your fucking fault. Clean it up. You'd shit right in the bank, right on the floor. You'd shit in the bank, would you? If someone made me fucking wait for three hours and then, you know, it's all coming to a head. Mm. Yeah, it's payback. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was great game. <laughs> that was I fun. love that game. I found some other shit about this Ronnie, this, this guy's name is Ronnie Music, great handle. Oh, that guy. That one, might be Don Music's brother. One fucking three million bucks in the lottery. Use it to buy crystal meth to sell, to make more money. <laughs> and he got fucking caught. How much did he make on the lottery? Three million. Three million. So he bought three million dollars worth of meth? I don't know if he bought all of it on meth, but a lot of it. It's like, oh, fuck, I got three million dollars and I can turn that into So you know what? Ten. I think oh that was kind God. of a good idea. He shouldn't have got into the meth, but... Say if he bought like three million in weed or, or yeah, cash. That may have been smart. That would have been way smarter. Boys, why don't you invest it in something that's not illegal? It's well, almost then, not illegal. It's gotta be illegal, man, because then, Oh, do you mean you're invest taxes. in do you mean invest in one of those, you know, weed companies? No, I'm talking like street weed. Keep selling it from the streets. Where are you gonna get three million dollars worth of weed? I'm just saying, you don't got to invest all of it, like, at once. You can invest that, you know, a bit in weed, a bit in hash. I like your get thinking. Get some booze. Yeah. Let's do it. Just kind of sit on it for a while. How about a mutual fund? Oh, no, that's you've, that's a paper trail, then, okay? You, you're going to be paying taxes on that shit. Fuck taxes. Taxes It would be a mutual you. fund. Like, it would be our, all of our money. So Mutually. Mm, mutual. Not if I won the lottery, you wouldn't. I'd give you an allowance, Ricky, but... How much? I give you hundred grand a week. A hundred grand a week. <laughs> That'd be awesome. That's a that's a lot. I would try to save some of it. How much did I win in the lottery? There's the question. Three million bucks. Yeah. Three million. You're not getting a hundred grand a week, Ricky. Twenty five grand. I'll be out of money in fucking no time. Twenty five grand each a week would be a good number. How about twenty five grand each a month? That's still. You're still making a lot of money. It take too long to spend it. You're still making six hundred grand a year. Yes. Aren't you? 25 grand a month? Yeah. No, man. You're making 50 grand every two months. Yeah. And there's 12 months. So that's how much? You're making a lot. All right. That's too much. Are you still buying lottery tickets? This is all on film, right? You're going to give us 25 grand a month if you win. No, I'm not. I just said I'm not. How many lottery tickets do you buy a week? Seriously. I buy a lot. How much? 20 bucks. Bullshit. That's all. 20 bucks a week? Yeah. 
There's nothing more annoying when you got to get gas and you're dealing with a fucking god buying as many tickets as you do. Because you're, you're in there for a while. Well, I have to scratch them while I'm there. Oh, see, that's that pisses people off, man. Yeah. Well, I mean, I you step aside. Started. I don't hold the fucking line well, up you... while I scratch off 20 tickets. No, you're a lottery dick. Those people drive me fucking nuts. I'm not a lottery dick. You are a lottery dick, You get them man. to check your ticket. Can you check these? It's like, why don't you fucking check them yourself instead of holding us other people up that don't give a fuck about those lottery tickets, whether you won or not? That's right. Do you get them to check your tickets or no? You check your own. I check my own, but I get them to put them under the little thing to double you're a lottery check. dick. I'm not a lottery lottery dick. Lottery fucking dick, man. I check it in the newspaper. But then when I go in, I get them to double check with the scanner and I have to hand them all the tickets, obviously. And it takes you a while to look at it, and then you think the guy's lying, and you're there for 10 minutes. Well, I'm a customer, too. I get some ten time minutes, at the gate. Uh, I get some time. Hey, Bubs, do you like tits? Na naked tits? Uh, no comment. There's this thing I found. It's called Tramps Against Trump. I know you don't really like Trump that much. These, these chicks will send you uh, pictures of their naked tits if you vote against Trump. My God. It's a good little deal for you. Well, we don't get to vote, Ricky. Why not? We're in Canada. Canada, dumbass. We should, we should still go down and vote and make a fucking difference, because that's fucked down there, isn't it? Yeah, but you know how voting works, Ricky, don't you? you got to be a citizen of the country. You can't just go vote in the U.S. But as soon as you cross over, aren't you one of those things you talked about? No, Ricky, you got to live there. you got to be a permanent resident before you can vote. Well, once you're there, you're living there. Sort of. I mean, you're, what are you going to do, not sleep there? Once you sleep somewhere, you live there. That's how it works. Okay. Mm -hmm. What if somebody went down for an hour yeah. to the outlets in Freeport, Maine? They're just going for the day. No, that wouldn't count. They wouldn't be allowed to vote, but no, you yeah, should. But if you, as long as you spend the night in America, you If you, you spend a night and sleep and have a good sleep in the country, you live there. You should be allowed to vote. Until so you go somewhere else, you are living there at that time. But imagine if that was true, then Donald Trump would just hire, you know, 10 million Mexican people to come over. No, he doesn't like the Mexicans. He well, said he's building he'd a wall. Hire, he'd hire whatever he does like. And he'd just bring in, you know, pay 20 or 30 million people to come in and vote. Maybe he's doing that. That's why we need to go down and vote the other way. No, I'm saying it's not possible, Ricky. All right, well, anyway, if you want to see some beautiful, naked boobs, find a way to vote for Trump. Or not right. Trump, against Trump. Man. I don't care about politics anymore. Fuck Me politics. Either. Politics can suck it. All right, well, what do you got there, Mr. Fucking okay, this Fun is a Times? Fucked up. Do you got any more of that stuff we want to smoke before we end this, or what? Because we're not fucked enough. Well, it's, this is a fuck, it's, it's kind of a sad story. There's this 10-year-old Indian boy, right? He's addicted to dog milk. Oh, my God. So he's been on, he goes around grabbing, like, these dogs and just starts, picks them up and starts sucking on their tits. And he's addicted to it. It's pretty uh, fucked. We, there's those little pictures of this dog on his back. And how old's the person? He's 10 now, but he's been doing it since the age of two. It just random... They, all the dogs know He'll just grab an old him. street dog and suck milk out of it. That's what he does. <laughs> oh, my God. Look, there's a video of him doing it. The dog's on the back, and he, he's sucking on the, the I dog. thought I heard everything. So dog tits make milk all the time? Are these, just are these, does he just pick up dogs that <laughs> just had fucking kittens? He just knows which ones to grab, man, okay? He knows all the dogs. The right. dogs are coming from all over the place. So he's not to get their grabbing male dog. dogs and... No, he's not sucking on the wrong thing, Bubs. Well, male, no, I don't mean... But he, male dogs have nipples, you know. Do they have milk in their nipples? They don't no. Have, oh. But I'm just saying, does he grab male dogs and do it to them? Well, he's but a probably female made dog. that mistake a few times and nothing came out, so he moves on. I'd Doesn't say, a female dog have like eight or ten nipples? That, that's, yeah, something like that. See, could've that could have been, been one of my questions. How many nipples does a female dog have? No idea. Don't care. I do. So what's the what's going to happen with this now? <laughs> well, is there any more information <laughs> to it? convey? 
Okay, he had to go to the hospital because one of the dogs attacked him. We went down to suck on the <laughs> nip and the thing fucking bit him. <laughs> so he just got a rabies shot. He's fine. But the parents are not letting him go to school anymore. If he needs to go outside, there's got to be someone around because he's addicted to sucking on dog well, tits. Don't knock it till you try it, I guess. Maybe it's like fucking oh. heroin. It's probably, I mean, the guy, milk is good for you. So that he's getting, you know, all dog the milk. Vitamins and shit. Depends what the dogs are eating. Well, it depends on if they have rabies. That's the biggest problem, right? right. Dog milk. They could be drinking piss and piss gets into their tit milk. Well, I'd say they're not that clean, man. They're just like, you know, No, feral those dogs. dogs are laying on the ground all day in filth. Yes. Just in absolute filth. And then he's cleaning up their nipples with his lips. That's right. I mean, look at the picture of this guy. He's a pretty happy-looking kid. Huh. He's got his hand on the dog's head. Just finished having a yeah. little meal. Yeah, because the dog's probably something doing something in return. Can we talk about something that's not so fucked? Okay. Yes, Ricky, you pick it. I don't have anything left, I don't think. What was the Aren't picture you drawn? Were drawing a picture earlier? No. <laughs> what the oh, yeah, fuck no, is I didn't. that? No, 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 no. Give me it. It's just something I was... <laughs> No, man. Now that I'm high, you can't show that to anybody. What the fuck does it say? It's a, oh my God, he created a new animal. It's called a shores. It's a shark horse. Palermino shores. What the fuck? It, I thought it would look be Look cool. at its head. It's got a shark head. Well, I was watching those shark NATO things, and I was thinking, fuck, what if a shark could live on land? And it fucked a horse. And that was born. And it's got a big wang, too. You would not want to fuck with that thing. It'd be no. Fast. It'd be fast and it would be fucking deadly. Jesus, Ricky. <coughs> oh my God, Ricky. Fuck Sharknado. The attack of the Shorses. <laughs> or, shorses. Could you call it a har No, not a Harx. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you fucking call it. A Harx or a Shorse? I think Shorse. Let's do it. It's a fucked up. <laughs> Let's write the movie, boys. So to Tarantulino, Terrence, Terrence, Tarantulino, Quentin Tarantulino. Quentin Tarantulino. Tantalino? He called him Terrence Tantalino. Or Tarantulino. Terrence Tarantulino. Tarantino, man. Yes. Quentin Tarantino. He's going to do the attack of the shores. He might. Could probably make that into a decent movie. All right, <laughs> let's get on it, boys. Let's start writing it. What shorts? I don't give a fuck. Whatever you guys want to write. Mm -hmm. I don't think we should have lit that back up. No. No, it fucked me. Like why was? Yeah. Why was it so much stronger the last bit? That's where all the good stuff gets up at the end there. <laughs> Great. All right. All right, so I guess we're going to wrap it up. Very right weird. Yeah, let's wrap it up. Just wait, oh, just... oh, this podcast is sponsored uh, by <laughs> TrailerPartBoysMerch.com. Oh, and these papers that we uh, used in the show. And Gibson and Neat Microphones. <laughs> That's just becoming like a real thing all of a sudden. Kinda. Thank you.